Welcome back, everybody. In September, WTAE TV celebrated its our mm -hmm. 50th anniversary, 50th birthday, with an anniversary special anchored by our own Sally Wiggins. Now, we tried our best to include the most memorable moments from a half century of television, but Wendy, let's face it, you can only get so much into an hour long program. So, tonight, Channel 4 Action News anchor Sally Wiggins is back. Mm -hmm. She has more clips from the WTAE archives, some mm. of the stuff you haven't seen in decades. It's dusty back there. I've seen it. <laughs> I, there are so many things I can say to that, Wendy, and I'm yes. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, Wendy and Andrew. We came across so much material in producing the 50th anniversary show that we probably could have filled several hours. And tonight, we have the opportunity to look back again at some great TV moments, some of which no one has seen in years. Look for us. In 50 years, WTAE has produced dozens of station promos. But once a particular campaign had run its course, those promotions were put on the shelf. Until now. See if you remember any of these. Today, Channel 4 Action News is bigger than ever. But after 15 years, Don Cannon, Paul Long, and Joe DiNardo still fill the bill. Burgers for everyone. And like that, separate checks. <laughs> Channel 4 Action News, still the best news team in Pittsburgh. Segment six and five will be Here's a good Here's Don. That's a good idea. Thanks. Oh, and you too, Sally. Thanks. Hey, Sally. Don't worry. When you've been doing the news as long as I have, you'll get more mail. Look at this. What's it like working with Sally Wigan? You're kidding. Now, that's what it really wow. said. Now, here's one for me. Dear Don, we sure like your partner, Sally. She's so bright and full of energy. You know, Don, someday I hope I get mail like this. Yeah, me too. If they made monuments to meteorologists, Channel 4's Joe DiNardo would tower above them all. It's no wonder that after 30 years of forecasting Pittsburgh weather, nobody approaches the stature of Joe DiNardo. I, uh, I had a real, internally, I had a real problem with that. I never said anything to the station because... You didn't just... Oh, you had to have liked that some. I mean, seeing your name and lights on a building? No, but what it meant was, can you imagine if Joe said it would and it didn't? <laughs> That's what I was concerned about. The promotions for the news team of Paul Long, Joe DiNardo, and Don Cannon captured the good-natured ribbing these men shared both off and on the air. A lady from Apollo who is tired of the snow suggests we ship Joe DiNardo off to Arizona where they didn't get any. The lady would be surprised where I'd like to ship DiNardo. The sports department got its licks in, too. Bill Hillgrove remembers when Stan Saverin decided to do a school visit of his own. And it was a complete spoof of what DiNardo does. The crowd was a bit smaller than we hoped for, but they were enthusiastic nonetheless. We explained how the sports is put together, explaining that we'd like to do more sports on TV, but the weather takes up most of the time. After the lecture, time for questions. Mr. Sports, why are you here? Yeah, man. And when are you leaving? But for sheer audacity, no one could match Myron Cope's three truly distinctive music videos. We did the last one, the Macarena, or Mock Arena, whatever it is, in the studio here. And they wanted to use pit cheerleaders for the dancers and all. I said, get out of here. There should be nothing wholesome about this. I said, I said this is the mock arena. I've heard the words and everything. I said, we got to get us uh, uh, dancing girls, and I, uh, and I want lots of naval showing. Hounds going out of here. You with it, buddy? Got a guy called Slash, and we're having a bash. Steeler mania. There's nothing zany. Yoy! Steeler mania. <laughs> Myron, truly one of a kind. Sorely missed. Sorely missed. And we thought you might like to know about some other WTAE alums. Adam Lynch retired in 1993, still lives in the Pittsburgh area. He continues to write for World War II and Aviation History magazines. After working for several years in the Pittsburgh market, Don Cannon has retired to his beloved San Diego, that area. Ricky Wirtz, still living in Pittsburgh, as is Jean Conley, who still gets together with other women from the station. Eleanor Shano can still be seen here on Channel 4, hosting her Live Well, Live Long series during the new news. And Ann Devlin lives in the area with her husband, Bill Flanagan, of the Allegheny Conference and their two children. 
I love it. Yeah, you know it's great to see all those folks. You see them around town all the time. We tell you about the history of the station, so that we, we learn a little something. Well, you know what? That, Brian Todd was in that Stan Savern spoof. The guy with if the you watch the CNN, right. he's yeah. one of their national correspondents. Right. He's amazing. He so like it was like, like seventeen, ah! right? I know he does. Yeah. He probably was. By the way, are you, are you getting that much fan mail? Finally. I've seen your mailbox, Sally. Don't even know yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, Good work Sally. tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, and you better brace for it, folks, because it is headed this way. In fact, it is coming now. Yeah, that's right. We've got advisories and warnings, and we have team weather coverage for you tonight. You're all just Demetrius Ivory and Stephen Cropper. Yeah, and guys, it looks like the snowiest, the heaviest snow for us is going to come within the next 24 hours.